Today I want to do a short video about editing text on a PDF file. And here I have a PDF which uh, I open through the Chrome browser. So most br browsers have native uh, uh, Adobe PDF readers, but the problem is you can't edit the text files. You can copy the text, but you can't edit the text on the PDF file. And so if you're lucky, you have access to Adobe Acrobat Standard or you have Ad Ac Adobe Acrobat Pro. They both cost money now. They're, they're monthly installments. Um, I, I didn't want to pay for this because the, the reason why I needed it was because my wife wanted to do some uh, uh, editing for her volunteer for PTSA at the school that she volunteers at. So the PTSA sent her some PDF files that needed to be edited. And so today I'm going to talk about two programs that, that you can use. One is Inkscape. Uh, it's a little more difficult, uh, but it opened for me. I tried different PDF files and I was able to open the different PDF files I needed. And then there's LibreOffice. LibreOffice is easier to use, but Again, I had issues, some issues opening more complicated PDFs. So uh, recently I've been using mostly Inkscape, but let's go ahead and start with LibreOffice. So it's the way to open the files, just like any Word document, you just go to File, Open, open the file. And uh, I did change the uh, view, so I did zoom in to like 150%. And so now if I want to edit some of the text, it's pretty easy. All I have to do is click within it and I can just modify the text. So if this program doesn't have the font that it needs to uh, edit from the PDF, then it might not load the PDF correctly. So that's why I said like for some different PDFs, I wasn't able to open fine. So they mentioned you might have to download the fonts, but what if you even know what the font is? So if it loads up fine like this, you can edit it pretty easily. I'm just going to use the backspace and then modify it to this is my edit. And you can see it's super easy. Then you can go to file export as and then you can export it as a PDF. You wouldn't save it as a PDF for LibreOffice because it saves it as some a different format. You need to export as PDF. So that's, you know, kind of straightforward and uh, another thing is you can see what the text font is here on the right and the font size so once you click within there you can modify even the properties of the font if you need to so pretty you know try out LibreOffice if you want something easy it's just kind of big big program the alternative is Inkscape and here I've opened the file and changed the view. I, I zoomed in to like, I forgot why I zoomed in, but it's, it's zoomed in a lot. And so now my problem is when I select the text, I, I just can't edit by using the select key. If I can select the text, that's good. It means I can probably modify it. And over here, it mentions the properties on the right. But what I need to click click on is the create and edit text objects and so let's say I wanted to change the text over here on the bottom instead of and more text I just wanted to type something else so again it's similar to LibreOffice where um, there is information about the font at the very top here's the Haveltica normal and size 10 um, I can delete the text pretty easily but adding the text back in. So let's say I wanted to say deleted. I just type deleted, but it all put it right over here. So for me to actually use this, I have to create a whole new line with the same text. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to press Control A and then Control C. So I'm copying the whole text. And then from here, I can just paste it. I just need to make sure the font type is correct and this font size is correct. 
and there. In some cases, I may need to ch uh, change the font color. And so they have the color copy over here. And I can try to copy the color of the font text. And then uh, it should modify the text color also for this. And so, uh, sorry, but uh, Inkscape's a little more difficult in some cases. Some, you know, in some cases I could just modify it, but I'm showing you the worst case scenario. Well, I have to now I take this text, delete it, and then I'd move my copy text over there, which is easier to modify. Uh, and then finally I can save as, and I just need to choose PDF over here. So long story short, if you can, LibreOffice offers the easier text edit experience for PDF files, but you might have issues opening the file if the fonts aren't all there. And then Inkscape is nice because it'll open probably most PDFs, but the issue is sometimes I can't edit the text. I can delete it, but I can't edit it. And so then I'll have to recreate the text using the text creator button over here. I just have to rewrite it. And what do you call it? Delete the existing text above here using the select key. Select and I'm going to press the delete or I think backspace works too. So anyways, I'm going to press control Z to bring it back. Anyways, I just want to show you two programs that you can use to edit text in a PDF file if you don't have Adobe Acrobat. So hopefully this is helpful. If it wasn't, sorry. Uh, it took me a while to figure this out. I went on different forums and I was lucky enough to find something that would help me.